This video is an updated one year review of what was crowned the complex sneaker of the year for 2020. That sneaker is the Jordan 5 Off-White. This is the start of what I want to be an ongoing series where I review sneakers in my collection after wearing them for a considerable amount of time. I'm sure you can relate to a particular sneaker as released, but for whatever reason you did not add it to your collection. Later down the line, you now want to add it to your collection, but you have to pay resale, but you're unsure how well the sneakers held up. A video like this will help you decide whether or not to go ahead with the purchase because you can see how well or how badly the sneaker has held up since its release. So let's get into it. I think the best place to start is the price for a sneaker like this off Red Jordan 5. It does not come cheap at all. Since the original release back in February 2020, prices dropped to the lowest around 450 to 500 pounds. And since then they've gradually increased to today's price where prices sit around that 600 and 650 mark dependent on your size. This shoe is made up of a textile upper in black. This mesh upper for me has held up really well. One thing I like about this material is the fact that it doesn't really crease. I've worn this sneaker a lot over the years, so it's definitely been through a lot of movement, but still creases do not really show up on the sneaker. Looking at the color of the sneaker, some parts of the mesh have some lighter areas, like on the left side of my shoe here. The overall vibe of this sneaker, which is consistent throughout the whole Nike off-white catalog, is this deconstructed vibe. So areas of this shoe, like the raw edges, have not changed since I purchased the shoe. Just the odd loose thread from the mesh near the ankle area and lint from different leg where I've worn. The sealed holes are still sealed, as you can see. They are strong enough that it seems only a sharp object would damage them or a knife if you want to cut them out. When it comes to the laces, the shoe laces label has worn off on my white laces and my black, but that's because I used the lace lock and after a while running through the laces through the lace lock multiple times, Will cause the labels to sort of uh, rip off eventually. Attached to the laces, you have the zip tie or the hovis attachment according to chunks. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not. I see off white in general. They want to put little hovis bread attachments to my thing and then they want to put a paragraph on the joint. My zip tie is a bit worn because I initially messed up when trying to remove it. If you ever want to remove the zip tie, I recommend just removing the laces until you can now just pull out the zip tie. As I work way down to the midsole, this is where I notice the most signs of wear. I've developed some scuffs on both of the midsoles near the back. I have tried to move these marks, but it seems they are permanent, so we move. I've witnessed the first signs of midsole cracking. On the right shoe near the back of the lateral side, the midsole has cracked slightly, causing part of the midsole to be slightly raised above the gum outsole. I don't know where this came from. Hashtag wear your shoes. In terms of the outsole, they were pre-aged, so any signs of wear only comes from the dirt trapped inside the outsole. When I first tried on the shoe, the comfort was okay, but I added an insole just to add a bit more comfort. That's one thing I recommend to anyone, consider adding insoles to your sneakers for extra comfort. The anchor area of the shoe feels okay. There's definitely less padding compared to a normal Jordan 5, because when designing the shoe, Virgil wanted to remove that padding just to add to the overall deconstructed vibe. So the ankle area is quite thin. In terms of final thoughts, I cannot really pick out any flaws with this shoe. I initially wasn't feeling the holes on the side or the tongue, but they have grown on me a lot since then. Not to the point where I want to cut them. I leave that to you guys. So far they're holding up after a year's wear as you can see. So it will be interesting to see how far these can go because I have no plans of ever getting rid of this from my collection. But let me know what sneaker you have worn for longer than one year. Any other thoughts or questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I want to catch you on Instagram at edmundlockparlor. All support is truly appreciated. I actually put these Off-White Jordan 5s in my top five Off-White X Nike favorite sneakers. So if you want to see the other four, then you might like this video here. Thank you for checking out this video today. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, stay blessed.